Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about using a standard normal table, or what's commonly known as a z-score. So first of all, what is a z-score? A z-score is something that tells you whether your observed value is above average or below average, and if so, how much, how extreme is your, is your, is your value. So I've written down a formula, z equals x minus mu. This is called mu, and this is called sigma. So this is the standard deviation, and this is the average or mean. And then x is your value. And what z tells you is whether your score is below average or above average by whether it's a negative or a positive. And then it, the bigger z is, if it's positive, the higher you are above average. And then if it's negative, the farther down you are below average. So let's just start out with uh, IQ scores. Um, for a typical IQ score, the average is 100. And the standard deviation is about 15. I'm just going to kind of go with these numbers. And say your IQ is 120. And you want to know, how do I compare it to the whole population? What percentile am I on? That's kind of ultimately where we're going as a percentile. <clears throat> so the first thing to do is calculate your z-score. z is 120 minus 100 uh, over 15. That's going to be 20 over 15, which reduces to 4 thirds. And ultimately, in decimal form, that's 1.33. So my z-score is 1.33. First of all, it's positive, so I know I'm above average. If I were to put in 100 here, 100 minus 100 is zero. If your score, if your z-score is zero, you are exactly average, exactly average. So a positive means you're above average. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a little picture. This is called the bell curve or the standard normal curve. Here, Z is zero. This whole area is considered to be one. Imagine that's one. And um, so 1.33 is gonna be maybe right here. And this, all this area left of you, these are all the people below your score. And this is above your score. So the way you figure out the area here of this region that's shaded is you look in a standard normal table for Z is 1.33. So I've got one right here. This is a standard normal table. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Um, and so what you wanna find is Z, um, your Z score in here. So I've got negative, uh, you know, negative Zs right here. And uh, I'm gonna go over to the positive side, which is on this page. And I'm looking at Z as positive 1.3 right here. There's 1.3. And then I'm going to go over to the 0.03 because I had 1.33. I'll use a piece of paper uh, for this. Here's 1.3. And then if I go over to the 0.03, that is 1.33 for Z. And the number in my table is 0 .9, 0 0.9082. So what that means is that is the area of the shaded region on the left side, 0 0.9082. So back to this, and this area is 0 0.9082. And uh, so the probability of my score being less than or equal to 120 IQ is 0 0.9082. What that tells me, is 90.8% of the people have a lower IQ score than I do. And then I guess, what's this? This is 0.0918, I believe. Um, so 9% of the people have a higher IQ score than I do. That's how this works. Let's try one more. Let's do height. Uh, for a man, an adult man, the average height is 69 inches, and the standard deviation is three inches. So I want to know what's the probability that my height 
is uh, less than or equal to uh, 65 inches. That's uh, five foot five for an adult man. So I want to find the Z score that goes with that. Uh, X minus mu uh, over uh, three. Actually, uh, that's the same negative four thirds, but that's fine. Negative 1.33. Uh, funny to use that number again. Uh, so I'm going to go find that in my uh, in my table. That's the same as Z is less than or equal to negative 1.33. Um, and so we're going to go to my negative side this time. Here's negative 1.3. And here's 0 0.03, and you can see 0 0.0918 is my number right there. Um, so if you look at a Z on a standard normal table, here's zero, here's negative 1.33. This is 0 0.0918. And I want you to notice that that's the exact opposite of what we just had. Earlier I said, what's the chance of being a, a below 1.33? It was 90%, 90.8%, and there was a 0.9% chance of being above. And now we've exactly reversed. This is 0.9082. So this time, uh, the likelihood of finding a man chosen randomly shorter, shorter than uh, five foot five, 65 inches is about a 9% chance. What's the chance that I find uh, someone taller than five foot five, it's a 90.8% chance. So that's how you use the standard normal table. I hope this helps you out.